Life is a school. We're enrolled at birth and graduate at death. We're all lectured to, quizzed, and tested. Our grades don't go on anyone else's report card because life is only a school inside ourselves. Outside, life is a jungle, and you never know what animal you're going to have to face next. There's only one teacher. You can call the teacher him, her, or them. You can use whatever name you choose to address them. But for atheists, there is no teacher in this school. They say each of us has to decide what to believe based on what other students tell us they know. We have to decide if they're wise, self-loving, and loyal to learning, or whether they're full of shit. And since everyone is literally full of shit, you'll have to decide for yourself how much you're willing to believe what you hear. If, as atheists say, there is no teacher and we're here on our own, perhaps they'd be interested in entertaining the thought of there being a principal rather than a teacher in this school. If they don't like the idea of personifying the principal, they're welcome to spell it P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E rather than P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L. Atheists should admit that words are like bricks the civilized world we've created over millennia has been constructed using words. Early words were figuratively made of leaves from a tree of knowledge. Those leaves were later encased in wood, then the wooden leaves were encased in mud, then rock, and later cement. Today's words are encased in steel. Who knows what the next layer of meaning of our words will be encased in? Diamonds? brilliant. To the extent that you can perceive the myriad layers of meanings in the words you use, you're able to construct your world strongly, securely, and peacefully. To the extent you can help others deepen the meaning of the words they use, they can do the same. Life is a school, and the principal allows the teachers to create their own curriculums based on the scriptures our ancient ancestors created using words the best way they knew how then. If you can reinterpret the world's scriptures using the medium of modernity, you'll graduate this school with honors. Good thoughts. I'll tell you more about the meaning of life tomorrow.